What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Final Destination 6 in this video here again today. Now, this is just going to be further details about the scrapped concept that we are not getting in Final Destination 6. The one that was originally going to be a first responder story from Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. Uh, again, scrapped. We're getting the one from Guy Busick now revolving around the characters of Stephanie, Esther, and this tower collapse that happened in the 60s. And we know she's having premonitions and trying to protect her whole family now. And it's currently filming out in Canada. That's the movie we're going to get. So of course, I'm not going to share anything about that. I'm talking about the scrapped concept even further. So we know that in that scrapped concept with first responders, I've already revealed previously that our lead character, Final Girl, would have been an EMT named Vanessa, who just returned onto the job after a traumatic experience that caused her to leave the job when she lost her trainer or trainee Gina uh, after a drug addict shot her when they were called to a scene of a crime and after she returns her first call is to a tunnel collapse that ends up being the premonition she has the premonition of an underground tunnel collapsing ends up saving people true found destination fashion and then of course the story progresses death comes after them one by one now Central characters again, just to recap, joining Vanessa, who was our lead EMT, Taylor, who is Vanessa's friend, Officer Jerry, Officer Rachel, Frank, Anthony, Grant, and Rita. Now, I'm going to be going over deaths for these specific characters and what their deaths would have been in this scrap story because in the original video i did talking about this it was very broad i know a lot of you said this sounds like there's just a lot of crushing going on but i'll get into some specifics here about the deaths this time around so number one the person who had their head crushed by a falling tv at that sports bar if you remember was a character named anthony now anthony is a firefighter rookie so his head is the one that gets crushed by a falling TV at a sports bar. Rita ends up dying at a dry cleaners. She gets her hand stuck in the conveyor belt after trying to steal her clothes without pain whilst the clerk is in the back room. She ends up dangling from the conveyor belt and ends up landing on a steaming press, burning her stomach very badly, then is covered in with burning toxic cleaning chemicals when the industrial water spews all over her spews them all over her then an iron falls on her face burning her face in half so she dies of course after all of that uh she ultimately dies when a heavy antique sewing machine falls and crushes her head so there was stuff that led up to her crushing <laughs> her death is accidentally also live streamed for the world to see when she drops her phone when hanging from the conveyor belt now that would that would have been a very insane thing to see her death sounds the coolest actually officer rachel would have ended up getting caught in a retractable bleachers and is cut in half in a middle school gymnasium. Then you have Frank, who who is at a fire station that catches catches fire. <laughs> and then the irony in that, of course, is that Frank is a firefighter chief. That's, yeah, very ironic. So there's a big sequence of Frank trying to escape. He's ultimately killed when the whole place explodes and his body is spent or sent several feet away, landing into one of our lead group car's windshield as they are pulling up on the scene. And then we have a young man that is pushed several feet to the ground by Grant. Grant, after having seen after having several fingers on both hands cut off by the revolving doors, we know was ultimately hit by a speeding delivery truck. I revealed this in another video. Taylor is crushed by a falling tree during a brutal fight with Officer Jerry. Um, Officer Jerry has the back of his head blown off by a falling gun. And then at last but not least, of course, I talked about this in my last video. Vanessa has her head crushed by a falling street lamp after the truck is hit or has her head crushed by a falling street lamp after a truck hits the street lamp, causing it to fall. Now, those are the specifics about the deaths that you would have had in the in the uh, scrap concept from Marcus Dunstan and Patrick Melton. Again, we're not getting this story. I know the last time I've talked about this story, I've gone over a lot of crushing deaths and people were just like, that's way too many crushings going on. So in this one, I just in this video, I just want to go into some specifics about how they actually died, what led up to their demise beyond just simply being crushing, because we we know that it wasn't just simply going to be them getting crushed. It was going to be some over the top dramatic th thing going on. And that's exactly what ended up happening for most of these people especially the character of rita who ended up having her death live streamed for the whole world to see if they had done this movie there's no doubt in my mind if this had been executed well rita's death could have possibly ended up being the most memorable death in the series 
for Gen Z standards. <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.